Many of you who have explored buying solar panels for your home, you know, whether with a loan, cash, or even with a no out of pocket lease, you've probably seen prices that are all over the bazoo. Similar equipment, but prices that differ by hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. What's going on? Most folks would guess fat profit margins are behind the higher prices. And you're right. But that's not all there is to it. A properly priced home residential system includes some costs that are not obvious. Stick around, I will teach you how to cut to the chase and get the deal with the best value and pricing. Spoiler alert, top quality solar panels, but at rock bottom prices are a ripoff. Let's go down the pricing rabbit hole and see where your hard-earned dollars go when you go solar in 2025. Let's look at a medium-sized solar system with about 20 panels. Q-cell, 425 watt panels and N-phase micro inverters. This is a premium quality solar system. If I make a car analogy, this is a Lexus. Now, solar costs depend on the number of solar panels. However, since solar panels have different sizes like 400 watts, 425 watts, and so on, we have to use system size instead of the number of panels to compare costs. Let's look at our system. We have 20 panels each, all rated at 425 watts. If you multiply 20 times 425, you get 8,500 watts. That is the system size in watts. However, it's more common for installers to present the system size in kilowatts and not watts. So that's 8,500 divided by 1,000 or 8.5 kW. That's what they usually say, 8.5 kW system size. Now take a breath and pause. Solar quotes also show energy production from the solar system. That's in kWh or kilowatt hours. For example, this 8.5 kW system is expected to produce 10,230 kilowatt hours over the year. Do not confuse the two. When we look at prices, we only look at the kW and not the kWh. Okay, now it's off to the races. Let's look at actual costs of this 8.5 kW system. First, there are a bunch of fixed costs. The fixed costs are for site survey, design, permits, and interconnection. And they're typically in the $2,100 range in total, regardless of the system size. It doesn't matter how many panels are getting installed, 2,100 will need to be spent. Now, most of these are paid to external entities like an engineer, the utility company, the township, etc. Solar companies look at their costs per watt and not at the fixed dollar amount. For example, the $400 cost of the site survey is $0.05 per watt or $0.05 cents per watt. System size in a cost per watt gives you the dollar amount. So 8,500 watts into $0.05 cents for the site survey per watt, 400 bucks for the site survey. Now, the total fixed costs at 2100 remain the same for all system sizes. That's why we call it a fixed cost. Next, let's look at the variable costs. These are the costs that change depending on the system size. Larger system sizes, higher variable costs. Smaller sizes, smaller variable costs. Let's look at the Q-cell solar panels for this project. Those cost about 46 cents per watt. So the cost of just the panels for our 8,500 watt system is 8,500 watts in a 46 cents or $3,910. Microinverters are 35 cents a watt. So 8,500 in a 35 cents, 2,975 for the microinverters. Now, some of you may be wondering how much does a panel or a microinverter cost? So solar panels and microinverters are at $1.196 and $1.149 each. Of course, these are prices that the large installers get for bulk purchases. The cost of other 
popular inverter solution, the Solar Edge Optimizer and Inverter, it's very similar to the end phase microinverter costs. Cost of a string inverter like the Tesla string inverter would be 20% lower. Now, I'm not a fan of string inverters and generally advise you to avoid them as well. Want to check more about inverters? Check out my video on different kinds of inverters. Okay, back to our costs. Have you noticed something interesting? The costs of solar panels and inverters is just 27% of the total cost of the project. The installation labor costs are higher at 28%. Of course, installation costs include labor, workers' compensation, and insurance costs as well. Another critical variable cost is warranty. Warranty related costs are a reserve that companies keep to cover future warranty related labor costs and service costs. Now, that's the difference between getting service in 10 years for your solar system and not. The racking, project management, and shipping round out the other variable costs. The final big two are the sales commission and the company's profit margins. Healthy solar companies make a minimum of about 3,500 per system in profits, and the solar sales folks make about 2,000 bucks. But that brings up the total system cost for our 8.5 kW system to 25,645. In per watt, that's $3.02 per watt. 3.02 in the 8,500 is equal to 25,645. Now, this is a reasonably priced 8.5 kW system. The system will be well installed, no corners being cut. The warranty reserves will allow the solar company to service your system for the next 25 years. Now let's look at how a door knocking solar company would price this same system. They love higher profit margins. Profits would be at $5,100. Sales commissions would be higher at at least $3,825. Therefore, the solar system price goes up through the roof to $29,045 or $3.42 per watt. Yep, no shit. $3,500 more than a fair priced quote. Now, a new entrant in the solar market today is AI powered online quotes. Go to a website, they give you instant pricing. They advertise all over, they even have YouTube channels. Avoid them as their pricing is as predatory as the door knockers. They may be a tad lower, but they are all in the high per watt range. Finally, at the other end, let's look at a low ball quote. Again, buyers beware. Common ways that reduce costs include having no budget for future warranties. This immediately cuts 15 cents per watt of their costs. There's no long-term plan to service their solar system. Next, they pay their installed crews less than market rates. Cut another 15 cents there. And boom, their prices are down to $2.72 a watt or $23,095 for the system. So that's a big price spread. Low ball, $23,095 to the door knocking special of $29,045. In terms of per watt, that's from $200. $2.72 to $3.42 per watt. Monthly lease prices similarly differ by 20 to 30% from the high end to the low end for exactly the same reasons. Now, some of you might have guessed by now that smaller systems have higher costs per watt compared to larger systems. Let's look at two more price case studies, one for a smaller system and one for a larger system. Now, the total cost of a smaller system, a 6.375 kW system, is $20,715. That's with a price per watt of $3.25. Smaller systems cost more per watt cost. And why? Because the fixed cost, $2,100, they translate to a higher price per watt for smaller systems. It's 33 cents for the 6.375 kW system versus 25 cents earlier for the 8.5 kW system. Second, installers like to maintain a minimum profit margin and sales commission. 
profits and sales commission in this case add up to 80 cents per watt for the smaller systems. It's lower at 65 cents for the larger 8.5 kW system. Let's look at a large 14.875 kW system. That's with 35 panels. Total price 41,816 at 281 per watt. This is much lower since the profit and commissions are at 55 cents, 35 plus 22 per watt. The fixed cost lower per watt. Now let's look at some things you need to consider when you're looking at pricing for system. Uber premium panels like REC, Maxion, and Panasonic will be 10 to 20 cents per watt costlier than the premium brands like Qcell, Silfab, Jinko, Trina, and there are a bunch of others. Some brands with lower brand recognitions, such as Hyperion, Xi'an Shine, Sonali, etc., might be slightly cheap. Choose your installer wisely. Go for the fair priced, high quality installer. They are in it for the longer term. Avoid the low ball offer. Even if they have the best panels and inverters, and especially if they have the best warranties in the business. Super low costs just don't square with super long warranties. Warranty costs in the later years will be astronomical when you discover your installer has conveniently gone out of business, changed their name, or just plain retired. And that's it, folks. Let me leave you with another video that you might like. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And oh yeah, reach out to me if you're looking for a fair price quote anywhere in the US. I have partnerships with some of the best installation companies in the US offering fair prices. Thanks. See you soon.